Welcome back to what is now episode five of our F1 Manager McLaren series. And we are heading into the Miami Grand Prix weekend, coming off the back of Baku. And if you did not see episode four, that is certainly one to watch. Plenty of drama at the end with a red flag. And we came away with our first points of the season. So if you want to keep up to date with this series, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please do comment to interact with the series and help shape the way we move forward. Without further ado, though, let's plow on with episode five as we head through to Miami. So we started off, which you would have seen early on there, is a side pod design was now completed. So we went straight into manufacturing that one, and we've got that on the car going into Miami. And with that completed and on the car for Miami, we then had another design slot open up. We actually have two design slots, but I only normally use three because I use sort of a combination of, we've got 10 engineers, so I use four on one project, three on another, three on the final one. So I don't normally use all four, but with this one, we did actually use all four going into Miami. And first of all, that was using a couple on the design of a new floor. So we want to keep designing the car at the moment because we're not quite where we need it. I really want to get us to about sixth on the grid. So I know we're going to be comfortable in achieving our objective of seventh this season. And then we moved on to do our first research of the season. So we've gone with suspension for this first one. Only had one engineer left, so there's only one engineer on that. But I thought it was better than getting nothing started effectively. So I'd rather get some research underway. And as we progress through the next few race weekends, we'll probably see less design and us doing more research. As a review of our design and research that we've got underway, you can see we've got a new chassis coming in 15 days, a new front wing in 17 days. So those two parts should be ready and on the car for Imola. We've then got the underfloor that we've just designed. So that will come one race weekend later. And we've got our first research suspension, which is 40 days out. That's not going to have too much an impact, but it's just to get something on the board and underway. And as I say, we'll look to add more research as we progress through the next couple of race weekends. We then had to review our pit stop training for the month ahead. And we were a little bit lacking on the car release. So that was the one that I wanted to focus on across the next few weeks. So we've gone for the pit stop errors preset and focusing specifically on release. So hopefully we'll see an improvement in that and hopefully improve our pit stop times as well. Currently averaging about a 2.8 pit stop. So hopefully we can shave a little bit off that going across the next couple of race weekends. Before we went into practice, just want to do a little bit of analysis of the car. We've now got those side pods on, so we wanted to see where that was ranking us. And there's not too much difference. The only difference being in low speed, we were previous 15th, we're now 13th there. Medium speed, we were 17th, now 15th, and high speed, we were 15th, and now 13th. So effectively on our cornering speed, we've gone up one place on the grid. So now looking at this, we're getting some more 13ths on there and certainly more 15th. So I would say we're now still 8th team on the grid, but certainly moving towards 7th. And you can see when we look at Alfa Romeo, we're way ahead of them. They are now the last team on the grid. Alpha Tauri next on the road, and as you can see, we're beating them on most of these areas as well. Certainly cornering, which is king really on the game. Uh, they're a bit better on cooling, but again, we are ahead of Alpha Tauri. As actually, who are probably sixth in the standings in terms of their car. And as you can see, we're a little bit off them. Cornering speed, we're getting closer to them. They're a little bit better on speed and again, cooling. I'm not too bothered about cooling. It's more that cornering. So we are getting closer to Haas. Williams, this is our next challenger. So we're currently eighth on the grid, I would say, in the pecking order. Williams are next in seventh. As you can see, we are edging closer to them. So there's only a few positions in that in terms of cornering and top speed. And the final team we looked at as Alpine. They are fifth, so they are the team we need to get ahead of to be on the trail end of the points. And as you can see, still a little bit off them. So still some work to do there. I don't know if I'm that bothered about pushing to beat Alpine this year. As long as we get our season objective of seventh, which I think we can achieve even this early stage of the season, I'm going to be going heavy in research to make sure we've got a better car for next year. And with that, we were ready to jump into the first practice session in Miami. Is the radio okay now? Yep, radio check. Radio loud and clear. Spin a Rooney. How do we spin? 
bit more than a wheel spin, I'd say. All right, there we are. That's the end of practice three then. So let's have a look. At the end of practice, our setup satisfaction is unknown because we had to revert back to Lando's previous one and we've made a slight change. So he's around about 90% previously. So yeah, that's where around about we are. Has knocked his preparation a little bit because of that. He could only get four out of five on that feedback. So that's unfortunate for him. Oscar, pretty solid though, 96% on setup, 96% on car park knowledge, 98% on track acclimatization. So he's got a 96% preparation coming into this one. So as we head into qualifying in Miami, a little bit of setup work that we had to do on Lando. So unfortunately, he's only coming in with a driver preparation of 84%. Oscar is pretty well prepared though, coming in with a 96% starting confidence in his preparation for Miami qualifying, which is coming up next let's have a look though what oscar can do on his first lap it is raining uh, but it's only 0.81 millimeters on the track at the moment so it's in between dries and inters everyone is on inters though So Oscar Purple, but that is the only one to set a time. 35.8. What's Lando coming around to do here? Ooh, 36.2. So a lot slower from Lando there. Um, someone else has gone purple though. Oscar's second sector is a 22.1. 22.3 for Lando. So he's struggling, isn't he? Not got anyone ahead of him, does he? No. So he's a little bit off Oscar here. Let's see what Oscar can set for his first run. Normally Lando sets the pace in qualifying, but it looks like Oscar's going to get the quickest lap on this first run. And he does a one. P1. Yep, we know a P1. Coming up in a minute. What's Lando going to do here? 135.6 yeah. for Piastri. And Norris, quite a bit off. Piastri there. So 135.6 for Piastri. 136.3. Seven temps off Lando. I'm not sure what happened. Right, it's dry. We have to send them out while it's dry. Let's have a look at this. on board of Oscar. All right, we've now got Lando in the drop zone, 17th. Piastri is 11th. We've got a dry track here now, though. Don't know if we have time to get two runs in here. Might be our only chance we get here. It does say rain in one minute, so 30%. So it's a 33.6 in the first sector for Oscar, 33.5 for Lando. So Lando takes a 10th in that first sector. Sector 2, a 20.8 for Oscar. 20.8, 20 20.8 for Lando. So they're pretty closely matched. Probably Lando edging it for about a 10th and a half at the moment. We've only got both drivers in Q2 once in four rounds to this point. Can we do it again in Miami? Oscar's going to come across the line now. See what he sets. So he's up to fifth. P5, P5 with that lap. On 30.1. That's a decent lap. That's a decent lap. 129.8 for Lando. So Lando takes three attempts out of him in the end. Yeah. Let's see where that takes us. Don't think we have enough time to get them back out, are we? 
few minutes. No, we're not going to have enough time. So we're going to have to just sit it out and see what happens here. Tumbling down. End of session, right? Let's see what's going on. Bottas. Magson is not on a hot lap. No, it is not on a hot lap, I don't think. Think? I think the boys have done it and we've made Q2 for the second time. Lando's definitely done it, I would say. We timed that right in terms of when we went out on the track. And yes, we have. Oscar Piastri is in Q2 for only the second time this season. Beautiful stuff. We've got rain coming in three minutes, so again, it's probably only going to be one run, I would suggest, unless it rains and then dries up again. Hmm, yeah, looks... Yeah, it's looking like when it does rain, it's going to stay wet, so... Probably the only run we're going to get. Lando goes purple, but he's the first driver out, so we will be 33.6. Oh, Oscar's a little bit further back this time round. Ooh, that's a long way off. That's a long way off, isn't it? 34 for it. Yeah, seven tenths. Must have been a mistake in there. 20.8 for Lando. Another three tenths. He's about a second off, it looks like, at the moment for Oscar. Here we go, Lando across the line then. Hulkenberg sets a 130.4. Lando 130 flat or near enough flat. Good lap from Lando. Looks like Oscar's going to be considerably off that pace. Holding a Ferrari up as well, but it looks like Verstappen now goes first. Science takes that. Oscar 11th. That's a poor lap. We you will are now P7. Okay, we'll so get them lap. back in and see what we're you doing here. Up on the inlap. Copy. Lando's eighth. We've not made Q3, Q3 at all in this series yet. Um, it's wet now, so there's no point. Oscar, that is an awful lap. Only through to Q2 for the second time, and he's pretty much bottled that, let's be fair. There we go, confirmation that Oscar is out in Q2 and he'll start the race in 15th. So we go Q3 for the first time. Where can Lando put this car to start on the race in Miami? Looks like the track is stale. It's getting a little bit, it's going up a little bit slow. But 35.5. I expect that to be beaten. Because we're not really competing on many of these guys. Well, actually, all of these guys should be quicker. Although sometimes the weather can be a little bit of a leveller. Yeah, so the track is getting a little bit wetter. Every 20 seconds or so, 0.01 millimetre is going onto the track. Just got to keep with these conditions, basically be out at the right time. Of course, we just had an amazing race in Baku. Great finish for Lando. Let's see what he sets here. But yeah, if you missed the Baku race, uh, we'll have highlights. So I'll have a highlights video of that one coming uh, pretty soon. And of course, do subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with this series as we try to bring McLaren back to winning ways. So the 35-3 for Lando. Just don't want to send him out on these inters. And then 
the track goes completely dry. We've probably got a minute and a half. All right, if I send him out now, I think I can call him in his outlap. Everyone's going out. Everyone is going out on... Oh, Perez is out on the softs. The clerk is out. Oh, no. Oh, no. We made a grave error here. Oh, no. You can bring the tire. Team principal is about to be Stop. sacked. Right. What's this sound? Depends what it does here. If it continues to trickle, I think it's still too wet for... And these tyres are wearing pretty quickly on the surface. Everyone's going softs, aren't they? Everyone who's out on the track Apart from us, we're on sauce. Yeah, and it's... It's, um... What's this time saying? Looks like the grain's clearing up. Yeah, confirm. Are we gonna get him out in time? Are we gonna get him out in time? Are we gonna get him out in time? Come on, Lando. I think we are. I think we are. I think we're okay. Right. I think we're good. Oh, God. That was a bit touch and go. Right. At least we monitored that on the outlap. So let's have a look where we are. So we're dead last now. I'm assuming these guys are all on in-laps. Yes, yeah, so they're all on in-laps. So they're finished. They're finished apart from Lewis, who's on his flying lap. So, basically, whatever we can do here. Uh, Stappen. It's not going to show their best second time, so is it? 33 2. And I see 33 5. So, probably aiming around a 33 5, I'd say. Alright, we made it to the line. Let's see what we can do. traffic coming up flag, so we are and um, I've got out of the way pretty good well that's about half a tenth off isn't it so it's looking like we're probably gonna finish where we are Twenty. let's see what Lando can do let's see him come across the line Still temp 1.6, so we're three temps off. As I say, right, the car's not in a position to battle all these guys, but I'll still take that. That's our best qualifying of the year to make it to Q3, and we will start the race in tenth. So there we have it. That is the end of qualifying in Miami, and no surprise, Verstappen is on pole by Perez. Then it's Sainz and his fellow Ferrari driver in Charles Leclerc. Two Aston Martins in Alonso and Stroll. Two by two here. Noah's Ark here. We've got two Red Bulls, two Ferraris, two Aston Martins, then two Alpines in Ocon and Gasly. Hamilton ninth. Lando making his first appearance in Q3. And we qualify 10th and we'll start the race in 10th. As we know, Oscar went out in Q2 and we'll start in 15th. So we're going to start the Miami race with Lando in 10th, Oscar in 15th. So we're going for a two-stop with both cars, Lando and Oscar, both starting on the softs. Second stint on the medium and final stint on the softs. 
Football lights, five. Here we go. It's Underway in oh, Miami. Away we go. Let's have a look at Norris. Starting in 10th. He's got Hamilton on his right. Are we past Hamilton? No. Piastri's lost a position. That's always a classic first lap Piastri move. He's lost two positions. No. Can he keep that with the brace? Hando's held on to 10th then. He's uh, the meat between the Mercedes sandwich at the moment. The threes, the threes, the threes has had a crash somewhere. Oh, he just lost the back end there. Uh. Is he still in the race? Yeah, he's managed to keep it going. That is rear wing smashed to bits there. The RS has been enabled. What is going on here? I mean, that would be a retirement. What's going on? Right, let's... Yeah, I think uh, Nick DeFries needs to pit. Is he literally carrying on in this race? He is. Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, not very realistic, because that would be instant retirement there. Russell... Let's... Going for this move now. Should have us here to be fair. Why did it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, hi. So this is what happened. Here we are then looking at turn twelve. Cheeked right then to the left, and DRS. Still fought it quite well there, Norris, but Russell is certainly faster than us. And George Russell in a faster says, race car and much. faster at this stage of the Grand Prix. So we carry on then. We're down to 11, so we are out of our points, but we've just got to stay in this race. We saw with Baku, anything can happen. Being a, a street circuit, anything can happen. But DRS, is Lando going to have a go back? We are. And we'll claim 10th back again. Good work from Lando. We don't want to overcook the tyres. <laughs> Let's take a closer So we look. return the favour to George the here. The focus is on Lando Norris here. The opportunity begging to be taken. DRS is quite strong here, and we, and we have made upgrades on the DRS. So our DRS. Now this was at turn three. The opportunity's there. Yeah, so a good little move from Piastri to put himself up into 15th. Norris has got Gasly. See what happened. Now here we are at the final corner. Can they squeeze by? A lovely move and from Lando move there. We are killing our tyres here, but we are just going to go this first strategy, full attack mode with both drivers. Should be able to get this move done here. Gassi slipping to the left side. And the inside should have this one done. And he has, that's 14th now for Piastri, our sergeant. Good work from Piastri. Let's have a look at that right one. There. We can take a look now. Now there's the car of Piastri. Yeah, it was alongside on that straight DRS. There's the opening. Nice little move from Oscar into 14th. And the McLaren there Having his best race maneuver. of the year so far. What's Norris saying? Can he make a move here on Ocon? Can use overtake. Confirm. DRS is open. Ooh, squabbling over it. Yes, we've got it. Norris up to eighth. 
Great work from Lando. Let's have, have a another look at, look at that one. Look at the McLaren driver here. The gap opens up for them. And as a result, eighth place is theirs. Good work. Lando now into eighth. See what Piastri can do here. See where he'll come out. I think we're only second to pit, so we should be out in front of freezing. Quite good air, hopefully. 2.6, that's not too bad. I'll be happy to get out in front of Joe, really. Is that going to happen, though? No. How far ahead of, is he? Three seconds down the road. I might have to go standard push for now. Okay, keep looking after the tyre. Stroll has just been overtaken by Hamilton. Lando pit lane. Lando's going to pit whilst okay, in a squabble good. with these two. I've got to hope for not too much traffic when we come out and hope for a clean pit stop. Two point four, yeah, that's fine. So where are we coming out here? Hulkenberg is going to get past us. And Magnussen is Sergeant and Sonoya. No, we've found a little gap there, which is handy. That's fine. So we're two seconds off Magnussen. So we've got a little bit of room to catch up there. Switching to the inside, Lando. Should have this one done. And we can have recharge. Oh, there we go. Up to 13th again with that. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, use the deploy. Yep. Yeah, Copy. Actually, hopefully, we'll get this done here. Come back to that. Let's just see where Morris is. Hamilton coming out of the pits now. Norris has jumped in. Not by much. But we have done the undercut there. The Astri did get one new show. Now there's the car of Piastri. It's there for the taking. And Oscar Piastri climbs higher. Morris has got Hulkenberg. Let's follow the drivers then through turn 16. The opportunity begging to be taken. It's a little bit of a buffer between him and Lewis. And that's 10th place and up into the points. Back into the points for Lando. We're not, now, we're not really Hamilton. in a fight with Lewis. If we can stick with Lewis, fine, it's but we're not pushing the tyres on this stint. Ooh, good move from Lewis. As we get past Gansley there. We should there. be able to take a look here. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. Can they squeeze by? Good little move from Lando. Stroll on now his fresh tyres has caught up to Stroll. us. We've got past with DRS the again expected. We're them. not in a fight with Lance Stroll. As he goes by on the outside there. And Lance Stroll makes the overtake. Our target is really a point or two, and that's where we are at the moment. So we're happy where we are with Lando. Point five, happy with that. Uh, Bottas going to get ahead of us here. It's going to be pretty close. Oh, he's got that. will be in front of Joe. Um, let's just go down the standard now with that. Key thing is to keep the tyre in good shape. Gasly's on hard, so shape. he's gone different. Yeah. Gasly's now, got Bottas. Now, see what happened. Now, by the looks of things, we're at turn 15 now. The now on fresher tyres, Gasly, so coming back through the field. Back up to 17. Up they go to 17. Science is in the pit, so it does look like everyone is two stopping. 
Gonna let uh, Oscar burn some fuel there. Oscar, you can reduce the Lyco slightly. Gonna get him past Stroll. Ocon's pitting as well. That's good for us. 2.6. Definitely yeah, better pit stops uh, this uh, round as well. We were 2.8 before. We're getting a lot of 2.5s and 6s. Yancy is not near us, so I think we're in good space there with Norris. Yeah, five seconds to Albon. We're still in 10th. And I don't think there's threat from behind, so I think we can just push on standard for a little while here. Try and get Piastri past Sergeant here. Just don't think his tyres are going to last. That's going to be Piastri's issue here. Push a bit of fuel with Lando. Now we need to get Piastri, our sergeant here. Here we go. Come on, Oscar. Into 14. Is he there? Yes. Oscar. Ooh. Logan wants a bit of it back though. Come on, Oscar, you can't allow that. Still going at it. He's going to have a nice run at us here. A little lift off there from Sergeant. He's not going to go for it. Nearly goes into our gearbox. Has Oscar got away with that one then? Are we going to pull away from Sergeant? Oh yeah, Sergeant's got a pit anyway. Albon pits though. As Russell exits, so we're not going to be in Russell's race. Albon is in the pits. I don't think anyone else ahead of us. They've all hit twice on me now. Yeah, we've got Ocon behind and Gasly. What's the tyre saying? We've got life on Ocon. I think we're pretty good. We're pretty good for ninth with Nor Norris now. I second with Gap. As Hulkenberg gets us. Now this was on the straight. Fortunately, they're just on better tyres now and quicker cars. So we are probably going to drop down to about 16th, 17th with uh, Oscar here. Yeah, so no, that has got there. us. This As expected, Sonoda's got us. And it's then we're probably expecting Magnussen to get us as well. We could have gone for a free stop for Oscar. We weren't sh I don't think we would have been in this fight, though. I don't think we would have had enough fight advantage to get back at him. So I think, unfortunately, 16th is probably the best we're going to get out of Oscar. And there we go, Magnussen. Following Sonoda through. The action. It's all at the final as we corner. expected. Can they squeeze by? Amac down the inside. We look out front. We don't want to overcook the tyres. Confirm. It looks like Perez is, is going to win this one. Yeah, confirm. As we come through, Sergio's going to break the winning streak Let of his teammate. Sergio Perez yeah, wins good. from Max Verstappen. Charles Leclerc is going to come home in third. Followed by his teammate Carlos Sainz. The line first. Alonso is going to be fifth. Hamilton is play. going to be sixth. Stroll is going to be seventh. Russell is going to be eighth. Norris ninth. And Ocon will be tenth. Yastri was lapped, so he has finished in 16th place. About as good as we could have done with Oscar through this race. Bit of an improvement. I would have liked to got the other Alpha Tari, then I would have been satisfied. 15th would probably have been good for Oscar. But Lando, what a job he's doing for us. He's outperforming this car. He qualified in the top 10, got through to Q3 for the first time. He finished 10th in last race in backing for our first points. He's gone one better for 9th uh, in this one to get two points. And we have two finished P9 well, in Miami for another yeah, two time. points. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. Great work from Lando. Qualified P10 up one position tonight.
Not many would have expected this from the team, to be honest. He's doing big work for us at the moment. See this. The whole team celebrating this magnificent result. And onto the podium goes Sergio. It's all those Perez. lads and ladies and back at the back who had made it possible, you know. Sergio on the top step as well. Max has won every race, including the sprint race at Baku. First time we've had a different person on the top step, but it's still a Red Bull in Sergio Perez. So, the end of that race, as we say, Perez wins it, followed by Max, Charles Leclerc in third, and the fastest lap. Teammate Sainz in fourth, Alonso fifth, Hamilton sixth, Stroll seventh, and Russell eighth. We were in a little battle with these for a little while, which was nice. We're not quite up to speed with these guys. We finish in ninth and take another two points. Ocon in 10th. And then our teammate Oscar Piastri, 16th. I'll need to double check, but that's sounding like probably one of his better performances of the year, to be fair. So I don't think he's done better than 16th, but I'll need to double check that. So a little bit of improvement. We are better than Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri. So as I said, if he would have jumped Yuki and finished, say, P15, I'd have been happy with that. So still a little bit of work to do with Oscar, but not as bad as the previous race weekends. Just his tyre wear really lets him down. We can't push as much as we want to with him at the moment. So going over to the Drivers' Championship, Max still leads the way by quite a margin over his teammate Sergio. Charles Leclerc in third, Alonso fifth, Sainz, uh, Alonso fourth, Sainz fifth, Hamilton sixth, Russell seventh, Stroll eighth, and the two Alpines in Ocon and Gazi in tenth. We have now jumped Albon for our little instant last weekend in Baku. We've now jumped in with another couple of points, taking us to three. So we're now up to 11th with Lando. Tractors Red Bull are pretty much nailed on to win it this year. Then Ferrari, Aston Martin still within reach. Mercedes starting to fall away a little bit there. Uh, Alpine and then us moving up again past Williams. Albon got two points last week. We got one. This week we get two and Williams get none. So we're into sixth. Season objective is seventh. So we're well on course for that at the moment. Haas, although having a superior car, they fall away in the races and are yet to score a point, along with Alpha Tauri and Alpha Romeo. Top 10 fastest laps. We were fifth and sixth. So not bad again for us. We've improved certainly over this weekend. And we're now up one into four. So, uh, yeah, just above average, which we're pretty happy with as well. And there we have it. The end of episode five in Miami and our best one yet in terms of position. Lando continues to do great work for us, finishing ninth and getting us two points. And I did look back and Oscar, that does match his best finish for us of the year. He did finish 16th in Australia. 16th again he's sort of where the car is maybe as i said in the episode there if he could just squeeze to 15th that's about where he should be finishing so he's getting a little bit closer so there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel maybe for oscar but he's got a bit of work to do but it's all about lando at the moment he's getting us those points to ensure that we can hit the season objective once i'm comfortable with that season objective we're going full into the research to develop a better car for next year and hopefully next year will be uh, a lot higher up the grid but as always, if you are enjoying the series and this episode, please do subscribe to the channel, do like the video, and do get involved in the comments. We're streaming this series live on a Tuesday and Friday from around about 7 p.m. GMT time, and then we'll have highlighted episodes such as this one out every week as well. So please do subscribe, keep updated on the channel, and we'll be back very soon for the next race in Imola.